You're with us. So uh, here live in studio, we've got a treat because Seattle Center is the focus of all things food and drink this weekend for the 2019 Bite of Seattle. It kicks off later today. That's right. So we've got some folks who are part of this grilling competition. One of the events happening at the Bite of Seattle this weekend. So introduce yourselves and your team name. I'm Judy Jones. I'm from Florida. Okay. And this is my husband, Casey. And Casey you guys Jones? are team what? M Miracle in the Kitchen. Miracle in the Kitchen. Mark? Oh, Hi, I'm from uh, Mississippi and I'm from Sweet Swan Amon Barbecue Team. We're a six-time world champion. Happy to be in Seattle. Ooh, what that. do you feel about the six-time world champion? You guys are competing <laughs> against each other. Well, this isn't exactly barbecue, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mark's very good, but uh, we'll take him on. Yeah, okay, we'll okay. Take on all I like the I like this uh, talk and smack this morning. Okay, tell us what you've got. You've got yeah. some, looks like steak and salmon and maybe some pork. Yeah, actually, this is a little different. It's a uh, Compart dry-aged porterhouse steak. Mm. That's oh, a porterhouse porter porter steak. steak. It, but it's pork porterhouse, and it's dry-aged. Oh. So a little bit different, something extra special that most people aren't going to get. We're going to be sampling that out there at uh, Seattle Center, as mm. well as the certified Angus beef ribeye steak. Right here, mm -hmm. right here. Johnny. Look at that. Oh, nice. 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 And then, of course, we're in Seattle. We've also got some cedar plank salmon. Oh. That's gorgeous. Okay, so what's the key to, to, to really good grilling? Uh, hot temperatures, get some good grill marks, okay. great seasonings, mm -hmm. and go in hungry, and it always tastes really good. What about you, Mark? <laughs> what do you say? What's your secret? Well, you know, like you said, sear, sear, sear. So yeah. we're talking about brown. Wherever you sear and brown, things create a lot of flavor. Yeah. Uh, you got to have the right amount of seasonings and the right blend, but the main thing is to cook it right first and foremost, and the seasoning usually takes care right. of itself. For those folks at home that, that are watching that maybe need a little quick tip on the barbecuing, how long do you want to marinate? What do you guys recommend for just a weekend steak? Um, we don't marinate. Yeah. We just we use dry rubs, dry rubs. and we'll uh, season probably an hour, hour and a half in advance. Let that salt start to work and get some great tenderness. Yeah. And you leave and, that uh, room temperature? Uh, it depends. It Being from Florida, we try to keep it in the in the fridge or the cooler a little while yes. okay. uh, yeah. before it comes out into that daytime heat. Yeah, Mark, do you marinate? No, I feel the same way he does. Uh, whenever you marinate, usually marinades are liquid, and when you add liquid, you inhibit the browning, and things don't brown and caramelize oh. properly. So dry rubs tend to work a little bit better, and the more the more dry the meat is when it goes on the grill, the better the flavor. So tell us about so this competition. Um, how does this work? How many other teams are you competing against, and who's judging? Well, there's 12 teams that are competing against each other. We're actually competing against each other. So oh, you yeah. are? We're on oh, the same yeah. team, same but we're team, competing but against each other. Okay. Oh. So if she beats me as long as she hands me the money at the end, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, there's 12 teams that are competing, and which is pretty awesome. Over three days. So there's competition every day for yeah. three days in steak. And uh, winner gets a golden ticket to the World Steak Championships in Dallas the first weekend in October. Wow, that's the big one. So right? we're, yeah. playing, we're playing for the big stuff, yeah. Wow. And, and folks get, get to t taste what you're cooking, you're grilling up, we and have, what goes with it. <laughs> little craft beer, little yeah. cider, yeah. Beer, local <laughs> beer. Okay, we, have, we got Black Raven here. You got Elysian. We love our friends in Nkasi, Alaskan. You got all this great stuff here because beer just goes good with meat, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's there's a beer garden, tons of craft beers to taste and sample, and uh, you know, along with you know, hundreds of vendors. It seems yes. like there's tons of them, so oh goodness, it's gonna be a big time. You really have to, you know, just not eat starting on Wednesday and then you know, leading up to the weekend, so you're hungry, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's a lot the whole of food. Day. And just walk in the gates, and you're gonna be hungry at this. You'll thing. smell yeah. it. <laughs> a few blocks away. Well, thanks for joining us, you guys, and letting That's us right. know what we can look forward to this week at Seattle Center. Uh, starting later today, Bite yeah. of Seattle. Appreciate cool. it. Cool. Good can we luck. Eat this? Yeah. Good Thank luck. you. Can we eat? Uh, what are you going to do? Right. Just, just like. start. I'm just going <laughs> to just dive into this. Am I allowed to do that? What? Oh, you can if you oh, want. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better when you hold it with your hands. <laughs> it is. Well, I can't believe it. Some salmon, maybe? So good. All right. Send it over to Rick.